Good morning, it's Monday 18th of January. It's another week. Here we go again. Jennifer's in nursery. There is no school classes have been cancelled because of COVID. They've got no teacher. They're trying to get a supply in. Fingers crossed they get one soon because it's going to cost me a fortune in daycare otherwise. Um, I am having a reading morning. Yes, I could have kept her off, but hey. So, yep. Yeah. Return of the native. I'm a third of the way through, just over. I'm going to try and see how much I can get through. If I can finish that, I've got my assistant Marilyn, which I've already started. Not much in there, but it's not going to take long. And I've still got sitting here, because I haven't put it anywhere yet, Verity by Colleen Hoover. So, who knows? I'm quite a quick reader, but it depends, because I might take a doze in between, or I might decide I want to do a bit of colouring. It's, it's all about me and my mental health today. It's a day for me to chill and relax before I get back to normal working tomorrow. Um, obviously tomorrow I'll be doing my eBay stuff as well. Uh, Paul's gone for a walk, so that's good. I have got to take my mum to the doctor's tomorrow as well for her booster. Is it tomorrow? No. It's Wednesday for a booster. Tomorrow the cat's going in to be done. That's right. God. So much going on. It's mad, I tell you. Anyway, Jen, when Jennifer comes home today, we'll have a nice cuddle on the sofa, watch a bit of TV, have an ice cream and play with some of her toys. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on. I'll check in with you in a little bit, let you know how I'm getting on with my reading. Bye. Hello, it's about 20 to 11, so a bit of a little update. I'm still reading Return of the Native as I got a bit dozy and went to sleep for a bit. I sort of like doze, wake up, read a bit more than do. But you know what, that's what today's about. It's about looking after myself and just going with the flow for the morning. Because this afternoon I'll have Jennifer, um, so it'll be all about what she wants, which is fine. Bless her little heart. Um, so this morning's about me. If I want to go to sleep again, I will for a bit. And if I if I'm, I'm gonna be, I've just made a cup of tea and had a snack. So I'm gonna read for a bit while I drink my tea. And if I doze off after that, that that's perfectly fine. That is what today was about. Today was about me and just relaxing and spending some time looking after my mental health and. Because when usually when I take a day's holiday, I'm using it to do eBay or we're going out somewhere, running around. Or, uh, you know, cleaning or stuff. But it's never about me. This one, this one's about me. I think I'm going to do this every now and again. Book a day off and just do this. Just come back and stay in bed and just read or colour or doze. Sometimes I do just go to sleep. But I wanted to spend a bit of time reading because I don't get big blocks of time to read at the moment. Especially with something like Return of the Native. It can be quite complicated when you've got a small child next you talking is a book you need to focus on so this afternoon when she's home if I want to read I'll probably read the Marilyn book which is a lot easier a lot a lot more lighter for me but I'm I'm really enjoying my morning I feel quite happy quite good you know Jennifer's safe Paul's working the cat's around she was sleeping up here with me on my bed but uh, she's gone downstairs now which is fine so yeah, so I'm on page 221, so I am getting through it, I've read a good chunk this morning, I'm around just over halfway through now, so I'm just going to keep plodding on with it, I am enjoying it, it's, it's not my favourite book of his, that still remains The Mayor of Casterbridge, which I always find very simple, very easy to read, there's just something about it, it resonates, Tess of the D'Urbervilles was okay, I, I had no problem with that, this one I'm struggling with a bit, maybe, I don't know. It's a time in my life when I'm not really wanting to read Hardy. I must try Casterbridge again, see how that goes, or Tess again, or Far From the Madding Crowd. I still love the way his words are, his his florid writing style. I still love it very much. Um, but maybe it's just this one story that's not gripping me as much as some of the others have. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with a bit more reading and drink that lovely cup of tea. Maybe dopey, dopey, dopey doze off again. <laughs> it's nice. This is this is a lovely, lovely way to spend a morning, and I don't do it enough, so I will be doing it again. So Jennifer's home now, aren't you, Jen? Yeah. Throwing her toys around. She's gonna come and say hello now. Here she comes. Come here, come darling. Come and say hello. Here's trouble. She's a good girl. You've been a good girl, haven't you? Somebody bite you. Somebody bit her in the nursery. She's fine though. Mummy will look after her. Uh, uh, uh. Reading update. I did finish Return of the Native by Thomas Hardy. So that's at least one book more finished. 
and crossed off the list. Next it's going to be my sister Marilyn and the book I have on my Kindle which is from NetGalley and A Waterman Secret. Try and finish those two next. Um, yeah, I I liked it. It was good. It got better as it went on. It had a slow start. It was a slow burner. The ending was really good and um, I gave it three stars because it was such a slow starter for me but but I do like his writing style. So that's it. I've actually got up here my old book vlog which I'm going to be redoing and restarting this year. So enjoy that. I'm just about to have some lunch. I'll probably read a bit while I'm having that. And then I'm going to start posting on the book blog. Blob. The book blob. The book blog. I'll see you after. On page 61 of Marilyn and Me, here's Jennifer. You just like being on the screen, don't you? You like seeing yourself. You're beautiful, aren't you? And I've been updating my journal. I've got the book blog open and I'm going to start doing some stuff on that in a bit. Okay, so Jennifer's in bed. Sarah is driving me up the wall because she's sitting over at my desk knocking things over. It's not good. So I've just uh, posted a TikTok on uh, Marilyn and me. I will hear Marilyn underscore and underscore me saying if you've got any questions about Marilyn and her career, if you pop them in the questions, I'll answer them if I can. If not, I probably know somebody who can answer them. I did finish reading. Where did I drop it? There. Here it is. The Return of the Native. I'll put it back in its lip cover now because it is a Folio Society book. I do like those. So I finished reading that, gave it three stars. I read. I have read a bit more of Marilyn and Me. So getting through that one. And I've also read a good chunk of the NetGalley arc I'm reading, which is A Wartime Secret. Really enjoying that, actually. Um, so those are going to be the two I finish next. And then after that, I really want to read Eeny Meeny. It's up on the shelf. I need to get the steps out to get it. <laughs> and I want to jack the Ripper book down. So, and they're really, really high up because there's so many of them. So that's my next plan is to read these two. I've got one on my phone, which I'm reading as well, which will just replace that as my kindle book afterwards and then it's going to be e Eeny Meeny by MJ Arledge and then a very small Jack the Ripper book I've had uh, uh, sitting up there for a while I, I, I want to get read so I'm doing really well I've read seven books this year so far I've updated my reading journal um I will show you my reading journal at the end of the month when I do my uh, reading wrap up the only thing I haven't done is I haven't marked off book seven on my Goodreads challenge page which has 200 pay 200 books on it and I've got to write it on the classics page as well. So I am going to go now and uh, do that. And then I'm going to chill out for a bit, watch a bit of TikTok. I will see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It is Tuesday, 18th of January. Month's going so fast. I'm just getting my computer set up for work. Jennifer's in nursery. Paul will be taking Zed to the vet in a little while. She's going to be there for nine o'clock. And I'll see what time we pick her up, hopefully. Soon. Bless her heart. So I'm going to get myself set up. I've got some eBay stuff. I've got a little plan for eBay. So I will show you when I finish what I'm going to be photographing for listing today. And I'm also going to put five live. And hopefully I'll have five live for tomorrow. And then on Thursday I'll do some more photos as much as I can. And we'll keep it going as quickly as we can. So... Yeah, time to get on with it, try and get some money in to my savings account. This is money I don't spend other than on buying new stock and paying for anything to do with the eBay bills and obviously tax. It's just dead money as far as I'm concerned. It can sit there till we retire. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, I finished work. We're still waiting for the vet to call us to say we can pick up Zed. Um, I know they got to wait till she's come round from the anaesthetic and has something to eat and all that stuff. Um, I have just listed five items. I've got one more draft, which I will put up tomorrow. I'm only going to put five at a day because of the limited time I get to spend actually doing the photographs. Um, I haven't started photographing yet. I have got seven items photographed. One is this camera. The battery thing is a bit loose. It keeps plopping open. So when there's a battery in it, though. I've, I've used this camera and I didn't have a problem with it. See, so it's just come open again. Um, 
but my voice will be it does click in is maybe put some tape on it but i will still put it say there's an issue with it just tape it up um but it does work because i've put a roll of film through it i got uh, uh some sealed top a sealed top in a bag a sealed jumpsuit in a bag and a really nice gold pair of shoes if you want to make pointy size six um, two small purses, no brands, but I'll pop them up for like seven quid. And a Time Crisis gun and game for the PlayStation 1. Need a CRT for it. Television. So I, I make sure I put that in the listing when I do it. But I am going to go and get all that stuff photographed now. And I'll see you afterwards. Here's a bag of stuff I've uh, photographed. I made a note of what everything is. This has got the shed. I've got one item that I do need to measure and pack into a plastic bag because uh, I needed to wash it because it was a small mark on it. I've got photographs of it though. So I'm going to get that done. Hopefully I've still got time. Uh, 10 past two. Yeah, plenty. And I'm going to crack on with that. Then I can take this up the shed when I've picked up Jennifer. Still waiting on news from Zed about Zed. Nothing yet, unfortunately. But at least I've got some photographs done, I've got some listings. Tonight I'll be doing a bit of drafting and I want to do some filming as well. We've got Zed back. As you can see, she's not happy with the cone. She can actually, as you see, get it off. It's not tight enough. There's a little wound there. I think she's more interested in playing with it than anything else at the moment. So. But she's all right. Come back, Zed. Okay, Zed's downstairs, she's fine. She's not bothering with her wound at all. She doesn't seem interested in it at the moment. We're all very exhausted, so I'm going to bed. Um, there's no nursery tomorrow because the staff, three of the staff got COVID. Two of them definitely have one's potentially. <coughs> so they can't run it, they haven't got a staff. So I've sorted out with work that I will be working admin. I think I told you this earlier. Um, and Jennifer will be staying off, which means I won't, I mean, it doesn't matter tomorrow, but Thursday, I won't have any time to do any eBay. I might have to try and do the stuff I've already got photographed, get that lot up and see what I can do and try and fit it in around. I was going to do some filming tonight, but I'm absolutely exhausted. So I might just colour for a little bit. But was I, I, I actually go to sleep because I was shattered. Um, saying that though, because I don't have to get her into nursery, I don't, you know, I don't have to get her up at seven o'clock or just after seven o'clock. I can have an extra hour or so in bed, which is great. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to snuggle up into bed uh, with a colouring book and some markers. A bit, a bit of colouring. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. It's Wednesday morning. Jennifer's still asleep in bed. It's uh, ten past eight. I am getting my work laptop set up to start at half eight. Obviously downstairs because I've got to look after Jen today. I like I'm only doing admin emails and stuff like that. So that's fine, I should crack on with that as soon as I start. Um, and we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, maybe I'll have another drink in a minute. Pause in the shower. Like I said, I've got to take mum to the doctors later. But other than that, it's going to be just a chilled day. Um, hopefully, Jennifer play with her dinosaurs or something. Because I'm not on the phone, it won't matter if she makes a lot of noise, so that's the main thing. Anyway, I'm going to crack on, make myself have a cup of tea, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, work's over for the day. Jennifer's been good as gold, to be honest, playing with the toys and watching telly, so I can't complain. I'm going to go and take her down to Grandad's now, and I'm going to take Mum to the surgery for her booster. I'll let you know how we get on. Here's little Zed, sitting on my bed. She's coming to investigate the camera. Lost a bit of fur there, haven't you, on your, on your leg, where your IV was in, and... On your wound. Can we see that? Can we have a look? There. She won't keep the cone on, doesn't matter what I do. Jennifer's actually just gone to bed, it's 10 o'clock. And she didn't get up to that past nine, so. She's nibbling her paws. Sorry. Good girl. I'm going to write my diary. Now I said it's playing with a bar marker in it. <laughs> yes, I keep a diary. I keep a, a normal diary where I write what I've done or what's happened in the day, who's died, if anybody. What I'm reading, what I've read, and it's always one of these big desk diaries. Like so I don't always read a full page, but I'm trying to write something every day, so. I'm going to crack on to that, and I'm going to carry on reading this, because I want to finish this, so that I can finish the book on my Kindle afterwards, so. Yep, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. It's Thursday night. I admit I haven't done any vlogging today. It's been one of those days. 
nothing's that much. So it said to the vet she's fine. They're happy with her stitches. Especially as she's not wearing a cone because she's got the cone off. Um, Jennifer got up about half past nine again. I'm uh, getting into bed. I've started reading this unwieldy thing. This is the films of Betty Grable. Mostly it is just a synopsis of the films. Some production notes and reviews. I'd be interested to see how many of them I've seen. I've seen most of her stardom films. Um, it's There's a few I haven't, but most of her stardom films I've seen. And her early films, there's a few I haven't seen. I have ordered two today. Um, Pigskin Parade, which was, I think it was 20th Century Fox film. From 36-ish. Or maybe, I don't know. Anyway, it starred her, but it also starred a young Judy Garland, who pretty much stole the show from everybody. As she does. And then That Lady in Ermine, which is one of my favourite films. It's a very bizarre film. It was uh, an Ernst Lubavitch movie, but he died during production. And then Otto Bremenger took over the and finished it off and, and it's a bit disjointed because of the change of directors but there's some beautiful scenes in it and Grable looks absolutely gorgeous um so yes I am going to go to bed and read some of that I'm still reading obviously this I'm savouring this I'll admit that's why I'm not reading it really fast and that's it really I'm going to try and get some sleep Friday tomorrow last day of the working week hooray and then it's the weekend and who knows what will happen. Not a lot because I've got no money till I get paid and I don't get paid till the 31st, which is a Monday. I look quite goofy. I'll see you later. Hey everybody. It's actually Saturday. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. Nothing happened. It was a bloody nightmare with Jen yesterday. She was hard work. Um, it's not my fault. It's just the way it is with... I'll be honest, you can hear her kicking off at the moment. We're going to go out and take her down the park for a bit. I don't know why she's having a mare. I'll have a look in a minute. We've been having a tidy up. We've just changed all the beds, which is nice. So, well, I'm gonna have. Well, Jennifer's gonna have a bath tonight because she's got she got a new baby shark fish that I bought her for the bath. That plays baby shark when it hits the water. Um, I'll have a shower then before bed, and I'm gonna come up and watch a film on my DVD player because I've got a load of films to watch that I haven't watched, and this is ones that are just up here. I've got two more coming. Um, I've got a load downstairs like the Laurel and Hardy set and the Basil Rathbone Sherlock Holmes set. Hi Zed. Um, so what I haven't watched, which I've bought um, recently, I've got um, a burnt copy of Three Wise Girls, which is a Jean Harlow film I've never seen. Hold your man. I have seen it years ago, but not lately. I do love it. Uh, Libeled Lady. I love this film. Again, I've got it on videotape, same as Hold Your Man. But I, haven't got, I didn't have it on DVD, so I've now got that on DVD. And I've got this, um, the actors' rare films of Rudolph Valentino, volume two, I think this is. I haven't got volume one. And on here you've got Eyes of Youth, and then you've got miscellaneous clips from His 88 Beauties, production footage from The Chic and Blood and Sand, and two Valentino documentaries. I've not watched it. And that doesn't count for it. I'm quite into film at the moment. We watched a movie last night with Wiki Gervais in it called Ghost Town, which is about a man who has an operation and he dies, but he comes back. He's dead for seven minutes. When he comes back, he can see ghosts. And then when they realise, of course, they start following around. And then there's one ghost who's the husband, uh, the late husband of the woman that, woman that lives in his apartment block, who wants to stop her from marrying this bloke he thinks that's what he's left behind to do until ricky gervais figures it all out it is actually really good i'm not a big ricky gervais film but the fan but oh my god that film was absolutely awesome i'm glad i found it and i only found it because i saw a clip of it on tiktok so i'm going to make a note of films i see on tiktok that look look interesting to try and track down that was available on amazon prime if you've got amazon prime and you pay for the prime it's free but you have to watch it with ads you can rent it or buy it and you won't have the ads now we really enjoyed that so we're going to look for some more films to watch because i love movies paul's not so keen on the classics but i can watch them on my own when he's out like for instance next week he's out so once i put jennifer to bed not next week it's the weekend after he's going to watch bands um classic rock show with his mate paul i think it's yeah with paul um i can Put Jennifer bed, I can watch YouTube, I can read, I can colour, I can make videos. I'm going to be making a video later today, but I can watch 
films and I don't watch enough of them. I'm ready to start my bookie of the film, um, which is going to be a, a movie log, much like my book log but it's it is going to be filmed it's not going to be just one year there's no challenges it's just i'm going to record every film i watch with a photograph of the poster i have started doing it in another book but i haven't finished it so i'm not going to do f big spreads on every film but on certain films i will so for instance um if i see a film i really love so for instance i don't know uh, one of the valentino ones i could put some pictures of rudolph valentino in it uh, and again Jean harlow marilyn Betty Grable and so on so yeah I've got two Betty Grable films come in um that lady in Ermine which I love and uh, the second one isn't just Betty Grable it's also Judy Garland and it's Pigskin Parade which is one of Judy's very early films and also one of Betty Grable's very early films <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that so they're both coming they should be arriving next week Monday or so I can't wait so I'm, I'm just going to crack on with this um reading update where's Marilyn here she is uh my uh Marilyn my sister Marilyn I am now over halfway through my reread I'm really enjoying it I'm savoring it I've not gone far through uh the films of Betty Grable I know where I am um reading the synopsises and I'm really really quite enjoying it I have got this Marilyn book but it doesn't have an ISBN and it's obviously not on I think because it came with a record uh but it is so pretty so i haven't actually looked at it properly because there's no isbn number so it's not something i can put on um at all but i love the pink the record is pink as well so i'm gonna have to show that and i might actually show this on tiktok later so that it's it came out in 2018 oh there is an isbn so i can put it on there so that's good i might do that later that's great no barcode but yeah it's, it's pictures of her quotes but not all the quotes are correct it's in German and English the artwork's a bit odd but where you've got the real pictures of her they're absolutely gorgeous so I'm looking at it not at you but yeah I love it so I'm gonna I'll add that one and I'll get that one read as well this month and um, I've also got this Cary Grant book I've got another one up there that I haven't read yet which is a celebration which is a photo book so these are all the big ones that are sitting down here because I've got no space for them up on the shelf uh, so I'm going to try and get through all these I haven't read anything on my Kindle for a while um, I'm, I, I am enjoying the story I've just got to carry on with it I need to finish it soon I need to check when it's due and I've got a load of reviews to write so I'll have to start doing those soon um, but yeah that's it I am going to go down now get Jennifer some clothes because she's not dressed yet take it down we're going to go down the shop well not down the shop we're going to take a scooter down the park and have a wander around so i'll see you in the park a bit later i'm trying to find an airbrush because i can't find either of them so uh, i had it the other night when i dried my air and now i don't know where it is so i'm gonna have to find it i'm watching oh she's so speedy in January just had an ice cream <laughs> she can't turn yet but she's getting there slowly Look at how fast she goes. the last time. I know. Yeah. You're really good. You like that? Think she's using up her energy. She'll play with her baby shark in the bath later. Yeah, she is. <laughs> baby shark. Do, 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 do. Ooh, well, yes. nice. That's nice. Well done. Oh. Off she goes again. Jennifer, she's had a nice bath. We played with baby shark, didn't we? Yeah. It was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. We're having a magnum ice cream now, aren't we? We got two. One each. Yum, we love magnum ice creams. And then after this is bedtime, isn't it? 
Yeah, that's a good girl. So we've had a nice day, haven't we? It's me and my girl. I love you, baby. Oh, your hair smells lovely and clean. <laughs> she like me and mummy again. You <laughs> like me and mummy again. Yeah. I love you. Hey, guys. As you see, I've had a shower. There's my Marilyn books behind me. And then there's my colouring books and my light. I can tell I'm on my office chair. I'm going to do some filming. I filmed three flip flip blah 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 blah. Three flip throughs. Or is it four? Three. Three. Three flip throughs. And a colouring chat before I watch a movie. Um, Jennifer's asleep in bed. Uh, yeah, Jennifer's asleep in bed. Paul's downstairs watching TV though, he's probably going to come up soon. And yeah, I want to watch a movie tonight, so I'll probably put the light out, curl up in bed and watch a movie. Looking forward! Love a good movie. My screen desperately, desperately needs cleaning. So, I'm going to crack on with this. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you know what's going on, what film I haven't decided to watch, I haven't decided yet. It's, um, it's between, um, I've got three Teen Harlow films and a Rudolph Valentino compilation. So I haven't quite decided, do I want to go silent or do I want to watch Jeannie Harlow? I think probably Jean Harlow because I've got one that I've never seen before, I've wanted to see for a long time. So I might pop that one in and have a look. I'm looking at all the coloring books I've got. This, I've cut back, I have. I have got a few, but I haven't got a huge amount, which is great. So I'll uh, catch you later. I have now filmed some videos from film. I'm gonna put that on my laptop in a minute. And I am now setting down to watch Three Wise Girls, which is a Jean Harlow movie. I'm excited, I've never seen this one. Um, took me a while to get the DVD player working because it is so old and it had China Seas in it and I didn't think it did I thought I took it out so I must remember to take this one out when I finish whether I watch another one or not <laughs> so yeah I've never seen this film so I'm really looking forward to it I found another one I haven't watched that I thought I forgot I had and that's Iron Man with Louise and Jean Harlow so that's another one um yeah I am going to go and watch this film I'll see you in a bit. So I'm still watching Three Wise Girls. Jean is really good in this movie. My hair's working on dry in a minute after I've finished it. Um, I'm thinking of getting a new DVD player just simply because this one is not working properly. It's a bit temperamental. Uh, so I think I might get a new one. Ah, my ear hurts. I think I've got an infection again. Um, you can hear this. I finished my uh, colour and chat picture off camera. Which is hot. It's very wet at the moment because I've painted glitter glue all over it. This is my apartment. I'm sorry on that. Thank you. Really? I'm uploading it now. It's getting late now. I'm watching The Eyes of Youth with Clara Kimball Young and um, it's an early role for Valentino. It's a good film actually. Uh, it's freezing. Uh, it's very cold here tonight. So I'm going to go sleep soon. It's gone midnight so we're actually technically in Sunday. So excuse the light in the background. <laughs> um, I'm going to <laughs> Oh dear, that wasn't pleasant. So, cat's here with me. Look, let me turn you around. There she is. What's that? A little wound there. Look, looks worse on camera than it is in reality. It's not that red. Oh, she's a good girl. She curls up here, aren't you? You chew the cable, don't you? You've got our murder mittens out. Oh, you're a prick. That's why they shaved her leg to put her IV in. But she's fine. Oh, this battery's nearly dead. Good job I found the other one, isn't it? I'll put it on in a minute. Go, you sleep there. Probably will as well. That's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. I'm feeling very breathless today. Oh, this battery's dead as well. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, I'm really out of breath. I've done. I put one load of wash in. Done and in the tumble dryer, I've got two loads to sort and another load on the washing machine, and there'll be another load by the time I go downstairs. I've just found somehow Zed has found a packet of diamond drills, they're all over the floor, so I'm going to pick them up now. I'm just trying to get my breath back 
before we go shopping and stuff and I'll take some more washing down because there is more washing. Anyway, I will see you in a Ooh, back from shopping now. That was fun, hot. Spent a bloody fortune today. 70 quid in Lidl, 70 quid in Tesco. Lidl's was a bit short on things, so we had to go to Tesco. Wanted to get some wrapping paper and a birthday card for Jen anyway, so. <sighs> I've just put the last load of laundry for the time being in the washing machine. It'll only be until like tomorrow or the day after, and then there'll be more, but I'll try and get it done quicker. Try and stay on top of it. I say that every time and I never do. So I'm gonna put this lot of away. I'm gonna try and see if I can upload uh, my colouring chat. Um, bought two books in um, if you know, Tesco today. Um, I think I will do a book haul this month because I've got quite a few. I'm not sure how many have I got. How many did I buy this month so far? Where is it? January. Here we are. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's eight. I mean, that's enough for a book haul. And it's not the end of the month yet. I might still get some more in charity shops and stuff. All from mum. So, yeah, I'll do a book haul. As was my normal colouring book haul. And stuff. Um, yeah. I'm going to get this washing put away because Paul's got washing to put away as well. So I want him to get that done. <sighs> of course, as soon as I put it away, there's more washing, isn't there? Never ending circle, isn't it? So, anyway, uh, I'll see you in a bit once I've done the washing.